Welcome back Cubs, Direwolf here. Today, I want to give you a little bit of perspective on humanity and its problems. The Milky Way galaxy which we reside in is only one of a hundred billion galaxies in the universe that we are able to observe. But it's estimated if our technology was better, we might be able to observe up to 200 billion galaxies. The Milky Way galaxy is just one of many galaxies. And in our very own galaxy, there's an estimated 200 billion stars, of which our sun is one shimmering speck of dust compared to the relative size of a galaxy. Our home Earth is one of only eight planets that orbits our sun, and is the only one that's within the inhabitable zone. And it is 1,300,000 times smaller than the star that it orbits. If the sun were a speck of dust, in relative size, the Earth would be a single electron within an atom of that speck of dust. The surface of the Earth is 71% water and 29% land. The total surface area of the land is 57,308,738 square miles, of which only 43% is inhabitable, which is 15.77 billion acres that humans can live on. And our best scientific estimates is that the Earth is 4.6 billion years old and that life first appeared at 3.8 billion years ago. And yet, humanoids have existed on Earth for less than 200,000 years, which is 0.004% of Earth's history. The human race has only existed for a relative blip in time compared to the history of Earth and the universe. And only for the last 5,000 years has humanity had any form of historical record. And at this very moment in our very short history, as we ride on something that is the relative size of an atom compared to the entire size of the universe, flying through the endless void of space, along with the entire solar system moving at an estimated speed of 12 miles per a second, humanity finds itself divided among 196 different countries of which the United States is only one. The United States only holds 4.4% of the world population, divided among 52 different territories, of which California is only one, and of which San Francisco is only one city out of 19,354 cities and towns within the United States. And a single train car in San Francisco has a total capacity of 54 seating and 198 standing in one car. And on this train car there is one man spreading his legs taking up approximately two seats. Which is seen by and triggers this third wave radical feminist who is currently taking up three seats. And somehow social justice warriors believe a minute amount of physical space for a tiny amount of time is somehow important and meaningful, and for some reason they suggest a mild annoyance of 1 out of 7.5 billion people on Earth is in some way consequential. The Industrial Revolution was important, World War II was consequential, and the Enlightenment was meaningful. Social justice and manspreading is idiocy. In the grand scheme of things, not a single one of you social justice warriors are so important that I need to care about your feelings. And nothing that you currently advocate for or believe in has any importance to humanity. And I hope you will reflect upon this video and how unimportant you are next time you tell me I should care about your feelings, rather than focusing on logical reasoning, evidence, and facts. Direwolf, out.